Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for a daily Oracle and Tarot card reading. Today's reading is the weekend reading, and it's going to be for June 16th, 17th, and 18th. We'll be using the Archangel Power Tarot cards today by Doreen Virtue, and let's get started with the reading. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all angels, light beings, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers for the highest good of all. And we have Eight of Raphael. We have Nine of Ariel, and we have the Eight of Ariel. Okay, so Eight of Raphael. There is something better waiting for you. Do what you know is right for you, a spiritual quest. So yeah, this is so tied in with what we had all week, okay? It's about maybe someone out there that's just awakening and is just beginning their spiritual path. Or it may be someone who's already on their path, but they had to remove some obstacles in order to get even deeper and further into it and progress more. And it's saying there's something better waiting for you. So a lot of you out there feeling held back. You're leading these unfulfilled lives, maybe with unfulfilled jobs, unfulfilled friendships, unfulfilled partners. And it's safe to let go. When you let go of those negative things, you're making room for something more positive and bigger and better to enter your life that's going to be so much more fulfilling. And then the Nine of Ariel, the beautiful unicorn. And this card is saying your dreams are fulfilled. Hard work leads to great success. A love for the beautiful things in life. So yeah, we're all doing the hard work. And we are going to become successful. And we are going to manifest the things in our life that maybe we've only dreamed about before. And this is such a beautiful rainbow going across the card, too. And it's saying a love for the beautiful things in life. Because, yes, when we remove the negative things in our life and we show appreciation, gratitude for the positive things we do have, more blessings will enter our life. With that type of positive mind frame, more positive energy is drawn to you and more positive experiences will take place. And how beautiful, you know, it's saying a love for the beautiful things in life. And those things do not have to be materialistic things. A lot of people are caught up in, you know, external things, material things, how much jewelry they have, how many clothes they're going to buy, how many vacations they're going on, getting a new car, you know, constantly buying things. And this card, what I get from spirit, when it says to, you know, a love for the beautiful things in life, and I see this rainbow, this rainbow is nature. This rainbow is for free. And this rainbow is probably something most people would not even notice because they're just too busy accumulating material things to try to make themselves happy. And it's not going to make them happy because that's living in the ego and the ego is never satisfied. But when you're thankful for stuff, you know, like this rainbow, you know, I, I'm thankful for the rain because I have a well here at my home and I depend on rainwater for my water. I'm thankful when it rains, you know, and, you know, when it when it's, you know, a, a nice, quiet, you know, day that I could sit out in nature and I could just notice the birds and the trees and the flowers and, and look up at the sky and the clouds. I mean, these are things that are all beautiful in our life that so many people overlook. So the more positive, the more content you become, the more you're going to see the beauty that surrounds you. And then the last card is Eight of Ariel. And Eight of Ariel says, take great pride in your excellent work. Practice makes perfect. Consider getting additional education or training. So, yeah, maybe you're pursuing uh, maybe some type of a Reiki healing. Maybe you're pursuing something spiritual. Maybe you want to become a counselor. Maybe you want to change your career path altogether. But this is telling you that, you know, maybe you need some additional training. Maybe you want to pick up some books on the subject. Maybe you want to take a night class. Maybe you want to do a study course online. Because the more knowledge you have and the deeper you delve into this, you know, the greater it's going to become in your life. And, you know, it's saying excellent work. Practice makes perfect. So, yeah, we're not going to be uh, perfect right out of the box, you know. It, it's something that we're going to need to pursue. It's something that can't be rushed. It's a different maybe course of life 
that you never thought you would be experiencing. So, you know, study up on it. Maybe join some groups. Maybe talk to some like-minded people. If you've enjoyed this reading, please subscribe to my channel because I will be back.